Rosh Hashanah is one of those times of the year where you feel almost as though you have to come with a shopping list because this is when God is going to determine everything that will happen for the next year. And this year it's a leap year, which means for 385 days, all the blessings, health, well-being, security, nachas from children, finances, it's all being worked out on Rosh Hashanah. And you, you almost feel like over those 48 hours, you better get all your submissions in, ask for everything it is that you're going to need, and don't leave anything out because this is your one chance. And yet ironically, one of the mitzvahs, the key mitzvah, the core procedure that's associated with Rosh Hashanah is about listening to the shofar. No words, just a sound. And in fact, the the commandment is not even to make that sound, it's, it's to listen to that sound, which really means that to go into the Rosh Hashanah experience the way that you should is not about what you have to say, but rather your capacity to be able to listen and to accept. It's a time of hearing God and welcoming Him into our lives and then trusting that He has blessings for us. He knows which we need. And please, God, he'll give them all to us. May we have a Shana Tova, Umatuka. May we have a good and sweet, blessed and successful and happy new year.